This has Omni Strat wins me 98% of my ranked games on Villa. In today's video, I'll be showing you five strats for Villa that you need to use for your ranked games. Let's get into it. But before I go over all of that, let's go over that Azami strat I just showed you for Master Bedroom on the Trophy Bomb side. Now the first Azami Barricade, you want to throw on this little futon next to the bed right here, just about where I put that bullet hole. What this Azami Barricade right here allows you to do is it allows you to sit in Master without having to worry about this Master window, so you can play in here pretty safely. But what about this window? Well, the Azami Barricade on the curvature of the fireplace just like this will allow you to not have to worry about that window either. So now, really, you're very much able to just play inside of Master for absolutely free. It's super powerful. One issue, though, is that people can hop in closet and just shoot you whenever you're inside of Master. So what I like to do is I'll initially put some barbed wire inside of the closet hop in and i want to put it like far out enough to where they can't melee it from behind this cover right so usually i put it about right here and then i'll also combo that up with an azami late round right there that way if they actually try to melee this barbed wire they have to do it right here and their feet's exposed and they can't see me so it's kind of a death trap and it's really nice and it makes it to where you don't have to worry about closet until someone hops in there and then you just make it a free kill it's super super cool but in terms of where you would put that second barbed wire because you're playing inside of master the only flank that you have to worry about would be from the statue door right here so i like to put barbed wire on the statue door personally but you're also able to put it in bathroom if you don't want to have to worry about the bathroom window as well now, for the final two Azami Barricades, I would honestly use one of them to replenish any of the other Master Azami Barricades that went out. But if none of them get destroyed, then the last one I would put is on this window. Normally, you can just get away with barricading this window, and the reason that you want it closed is so people don't get on this window and have a long angle through the head holes that are typically right here in the site. So, if you Azami Barricade this, it makes it to where that's not an issue. It also allows you, as somebody playing in bathroom, to rotate into Master a lot safer and not have to worry about this window angle that they can commonly hold from the master window so i like this one a lot it's pretty cool but honestly honestly if they're pressuring you a lot you can just save that one and the last one for just replenishing this azami barricade over and over and over again it's really nice but this is just an aggressive azami hold for master that you can easily use to not have to worry about any of the windows but if someone like azami isn't your style then this castle strat for bathroom is just as good now, like I said, as Castle, you're going to be playing in Bathroom, so you want to eliminate any angles that can potentially be dangerous for you sitting inside of Bathroom. The first of which, again, being this window right here, that allows people to sit on this master window and get a long angle into Bathroom just like this. To mitigate this, you guessed it, you're just going to Castle this window right here, which we talked about in the Azami example, also covers your head holes. Now, in terms of what you do with this triple wall, you obviously want the head holes here, paired up with the head holes for the site just like this. This will allow you to sit inside of statue and hold a long angle onto anybody in closet, or preferably your teammates. Then you'd reinforce next to these head holes here, and you'd put feet holes next to the reinforcement. This strategy allows you to sit on this reinforcement and peek anybody on the window, or it allows you to sit into shower and peek anybody that hops into the window, or even on the window for that matter. It's pretty nice. If you want to know that they hop into this closet because maybe you're afraid of not hearing them, then just put a proximity alarm on the bottom of this window. And because you're playing inside of bathroom, the only other flank route that you have to worry about is the astro stairs, which is where you'll put your second proximity alarm. In terms of where you'll put your other castles though, your second one is going to go on the closet door. Now this may seem weird, but because you're playing inside of bathroom, if they try to hop into closet and maybe you're just getting heavily contested, maybe you die, this makes it to where they can't leave closet and they're kind of trapped by the people on these head holes and by you on these feet holes. So it's just really dangerous for them to hop into closet and it serves as nice bait. Pair that up with the fact that you have a proximity alarm here, anybody on these head holes is easily going to capitalize on the person who is stuck inside of closet. This door also allows you to sit in bathroom without having to worry about this window if you don't want to peek it, which is pretty nice as well. Not to mention these two castle barricades have the added bonus of making people on this window feel like it's a lot more safe to hop into master than it actually is now the third castle you want to go on the astro window the reason it goes on the astro window is because if you're trying to rotate to astronomy without having to die from the window here you just castle it it's pretty nice and then the final castle is completely optional but what I like to do personally is barricade this double door inside of the 90 hall just like this. Now what this does is it forces people who are in 90 or top red to instead of going from this door to just funnel into this door. And anybody that's playing off of these head holes will easily just hold an angle and kill people. So it's very nice for crowd control with the castle barricade. But we've talked extensively about statue and trophy defenses. So let's move down to dining and kitchen where I have this excellent cage strat for keeping the wall closed here. What you'll do is you'll bring the TCSG or the revolver. Either one of these weapons will allow you to break a hole into this dresser like you just saw me do. 
Once you break open a hole in this dresser, make sure that this pantry wall is reinforced. Because as K, they'll be throwing a Cade Claw inside of the dresser, and the radius from this Cade Claw will actually hit the reinforced wall here and electrify it as you can see. You can even put it a little further to the right as well, so that it actually will electrify the wall and also be very hard for anybody to EMP from this window or on the bottom of the staircase. Now for the second Cade Claw, you have three options. The first option is if you somehow make the mistake of reinforcing both of these dining and laundry walls, then you can just put a Cade Claw somewhere like right here, but I really don't recommend you do this. The second and slightly more viable option is the Memorial Room Wall, which you can just put a Cade Claw behind the dresser right here. It'll electrify both of these walls, which is pretty important, especially in higher elo when people actually ace this open. But the third Cade Claw, I think, is the best. For this, you'll come upstairs, and this Cade Claw is assuming that you have roamers up here that reinforce these two walls. If your roamers are setting up the upstairs just like this to ward off any attackers trying to play vert, then you can throw a Cade Claw right about here inside of the site. As you can see, it fully electrifies the wall without them being able to see or EMP it or shoot it for that matter, making it completely impossible for them to unelectrify this wall. It even works, as you can see, if they reinforce all three walls instead of just two, so it's a really good Cade Claw. It's a super quick and easy strat if maybe you're not too accustomed to the dining and kitchen site for Villa. But a site I guarantee you're more accustomed to is Aviator and Games. Now for this site, I brought you a Maestro strat, which is fitting because he just got buffed. What you want to do is come into study and put a Maestro camera just like this above the study hatch. Then, put an observation blocker behind the fireplace so that nobody can shoot it when they walk into study or up from main. This observation blocker, as you can see, completely protects your maestro camera, so that if they try to drone through the study door, they have to get all the way over here before they can even see the maestro camera, which by then you probably would have zapped it in the first place. Also, if you break the hatch beneath the maestro camera, now they can't even go up to it and knife it, which is really, really powerful. This maestro camera in specific serves two purposes. One, it shoots drones, like I showed you earlier, but also it'll deny any aces on the wall that they're trying to use to open up your mirror or just opening up the wall in general. It's very useful. The second maestro camera that you'll be placing does the exact same job. You'll want to put it inside of the window above the hatch, just like this inside of 90. Then, again, break the hatch. This allows you to get any drones inside of 90, while also allowing you to kill any Habanas or Aces that are on the 90 wall. It's super powerful. The hatch, of course, making it to where you don't have to worry about anybody knifing your Maestro Camera, which is really nice, especially because people can't pre-cook grenades now. Now they can't even use grenades to destroy the camera. It's awesome. Also, if you put an observation blocker behind this pillar, just like this, they can't even drone out the Maestro Camera. And they also can't drone you out if you're sitting behind the pillar, ready to swing off of the information your camera provides. Now, the final Maestro Camera that you need to use goes inside of aviator on the door just like this. If you pair this up with an observation blocker on the door, now unless they send their drone in through aviator, which of course you can prevent with that maestro camera, then they won't be able to see this maestro camera at all. This camera in specific is made to where if you run in to plant a vault or you run in from the study door to plant on the bomb, you can easily get on this camera and shoot them and deny the plant. If you don't know Maestro's cooldowns on his camera just got buffed, so now you can reliably in one mag down any three speeds that are trying to get the bomb down. If they decide to plant behind the map table, however, you're not only able to use this camera to deny it, but also you can use the first camera to deny it. It's a dual purpose strategy. And as Maestro, as long as you're sitting inside a vault and you're able to swing off of your cameras pretty easily, you should win most rounds with this strategy. But I've talked about nothing but defensive strats. So let's go over this attacking Brava strategy if you're trying to attack top floor, either one of the bomb sites. First, you wanna spawn roadside, and then you're gonna destroy the default camera obviously right there. Once you're here though, you're going to repel on top of the brick wall like this, and get on top of the little ceiling for the shed. Once you're here with your para 308, you're easily able to mow down the bore window. And now you have a long angle onto anybody inside of top red, or anybody rotating from skull door. It's a long angle that can get you a lot of kills for any over aggressive defenders rotating back to site when they try to reinforce for their team. Once you've been here for at least 30 seconds, or maybe you've gotten the kill, then you'll rotate down, and you'll get on top of this roof right here. Once you've repelled on this roof, you're going to immediately get behind this little chimney pillar right here and get on your Brava drone. What's great about this drone is, the first part of the strategy, you're just going to immediately go in the drone, look at the 90 camera, hack it, and back it out. And because you can do this so quickly, they actually can't prevent it and react in time, so you just got the most powerful camera in the entire game on this map for absolutely free, and they can't do anything about it unless they shoot it. But if they shoot it again, it's a powerful camera, so that's on them. 
Once you're here with your drone though and the coast is clear, you can either hop through the window or you can hop through this drone hole and get any cap cans on the double door or any Malusi banshees, any Fenrir devices, whatever it may be through the aviator door because this drone hole again is so close to the site that it would honestly be stupid if you didn't just start hacking utility like this. But once you've hacked enough utility and you know that 90 is clear, whether it be through your drone or through your camera, you can then hop inside of the bore window given that you know no one is inside of trophy to swing and kill you. Once you're here, you're immediately going to try to contest and take 90. However, if your teammates are pushing study super hard, then maybe actually you should consider pushing aviator instead. Either way, you're going to use your smoke grenades to cut off parts of the site, like let's say right about here, to get a plant down behind the bomb chassis here, or behind the vault door just like this. Then you can easily just go down red stairs and hold a passive angle or get on your drone and use your drone's information or the 90 cans information to get an easy post plant win. It's very simple, very easy to do, and I've noticed that it gets me a lot of free ranked wins. But that's it for this video. My name's Alka, check out this next video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.